Hello everyone, welcome to this iOS 12.1 battery test video. As always, I will use Geekbench 4 to do the test. First, I will run Geekbench 4 on iOS 12.0.1 until the batteries are fully empty. And then again, the same test on iOS 12.1. But first, let's just check if uh, all the settings are as they are usually. So we will just check if auto brightness is set to off. And as you can see, all devices has auto brightness set to off. And also let's just check in on the display brightness and see if uh, they are all more or less similar on all devices. And as you can see here, very close. And now all we have left to do is to launch Geekbench 4, go into the battery test mode and then wait and disconnect the power to all the devices at the same time. And all the devices are now fully ready, so let's cut the power and get the test started. Three, two, one, go. And of course this will take a long time, so let's speed up the video so the total duration of this will take approximately 4 minutes.
And here you have the results of the battery test on Geekbench 4 on iOS 12.0.1. If you remember, comparing to iOS 12, these scores are somewhat lower than what we saw with iOS 12. But since I've used these devices for several videos uh, since the iOS 12 battery test video, uh, I have decided to put in the battery capacity in the chart of uh, after each of the tests. Now let's uh, get ready and update the devices to iOS 12.1 and run the test again after the devices has charged fully overnight. So we're back again. Uh, these devices, this is actually two days later as I forgot to start the video on the next day. Uh, so these devices have charged for two days and they are definitely ready to go. So uh, all devices are updated to iOS 12.1. So before we start, let's just run through the settings as we did before. So first checking the display brightness on all devices. And as you can see, they are exactly the same as they were when we ran it on 12.0.1. And I will also launch uh, the, the, the settings app and let's go and check for auto brightness if it is still set to off as it was on the other devices. And with that confirmed, let's just get it started. Let's run Geekbench and get this test on the way. So we are almost ready to go. All there's left to do is to cut the power and I will do that in three, two, one, go.
here we have the scores of iOS 12.1. Uh, interestingly enough, the only device scoring the same is the 6S with the exact runtime of 2 hours and 35 minutes for both devices. But when you look at the 5S for instance, you'll see a lower Geekbench score on iOS 12.1. However, it runs 3 more minutes on 12.1 than it does on 12.0.1. And that is the same scenario for the 6. It runs two more minutes on 12.1, but scores higher on 12.0.1. The 6S has identical runtime and Geekbench scores on both 12.0.1 and 12.1. And the iPhone 7 scores a better score on both runtime and Geekbench score on iOS 12.1 than it does on 12.0.1. And the iPhone 8 scores lower on iOS 12.1 than it does on iOS 12.0.1 and it has about two minutes less runtime. So there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the video and please remember that subscribers have longer battery life and faster iPhones than non-subscribers.